story why goddess of fortune lakshmi devi accepted supreme lord vishnu as her husband she even rejected the most powerful lord shiva it is explained here reference shrimad bhagavatam 8.8 during the churning of the milk ocean kalakuta poison was produced everyone feared this poison but lord shiva satisfied them by drinking it after lord shiva drank all the poison both the demi gods and the demons took courage and resumed their activities of churning here you can see the demi gods and demons churning the milk ocean because of this churning first a surabhi cow was produced great saintly persons accepted this cow to derive clarified butter from its milk and offer this clarified butter in oblations for great sacrifices thereafter a horse named uchai shrava was generated this horse was taken by bali maharaj then there appeared airavata and other elephants that could go anywhere in any direction and she elephants also appeared the gem known as kaustaba was also generated and lord vishnu took the gem and placed it on his chest thereafter a parijata flower and apsaras the most beautiful women in the universe were generated then the goddess of fortune lakshmi appeared the demigods great sages gandharvas and others offered her their respectful worship the goddess of fortune then started looking out for a suitable husband who is free from influence of material nature here you can see lakshmi devi shrimad bhagavatam 8819 while walking among the gandharvas yakshas asuras siddhas charanas and the denizens of heaven lakshmi devi the goddess of fortune was scrutinizingly examining them but she could not find anyone naturally endowed with all good qualities none of them was devoid of faults and therefore she could not take shelter of any of them shrimad bhagavatam 8820 the goddess of fortune examining the assembly thought in this way someone who has undergone great austerity has not yet conquered anger someone possesses knowledge but he has not conquered material desires someone is very great personality but he cannot conquer lusty desires even a great personality depends on something else how then can he be the supreme controller shrimad bhagavatam 8821 someone may possess full knowledge of religion but still not be kind to all living entities in someone whether human or demigod there may be renunciation but that is not the cause of liberation someone may possess great power and yet unable to check the power of eternal time someone else may have renounced attachment to the material world yet he cannot compare to the supreme personality of godhead therefore no one is completely freed from the influence of the material modes of nature shrimad bhagavatam 8822 someone may have longevity but not have auspiciousness or good behavior someone may have both auspiciousness and good behavior but the duration of his life is not fixed all those such demigods as lord shiva have eternal life they have inauspicious habits like living in crematoriums and even if others are well qualified in all respect they are not the devotees of the supreme personality of god here you can see lord shiva shrimad bhagavatam 8823 sukhdev goswami continued in this way after full deliberation the goddess of fortune accepted mukunda as her husband because although he is independent and not in want of power he possesses all transcendental qualities and mystic powers 
and is therefore the most desirable. Srimad Bhagavatam 8824 Approaching the Supreme Person to God it, the Goddess of Fortune placed upon his shoulders the garland of the newly grown lotus flowers which was surrounded by humming bamboo bees searching for honey. Then, accepting to get a place on the bosom of the Lord, she remains standing by his side, her face smiling in shyness. Here you can see Lord Vishnu and Lakshmi Devi. This is the end of the story.